YouTube and welcome to Theater Talk. If you're new here, hello, my name is Tori Cyclic. I post videos every Sunday for Cyclic Sunday, which are my weekly videos, and then I have Theater Talk, which is during the week every once in a while when I've got something going on that I want to talk about in the world of theater. Subscribe down below to become a part of the Cyclic Sunday vlogs as well as Theater Talk and to join in the fun here on TSS 6295. On the day I'm filming this, I had an audition which went really well. I felt pretty good about it, and that's why I'm wearing a lot of lipstick and have my hair done up all nice. But while I was sitting and waiting for my audition, I thought, why don't I share my audition bag with my YouTube channel. So, what's in my audition bag? Let's do it. <laughs> that was really, really cheesy. I apologize for that. My audition bag is my backpack currently. It is extremely heavy. I need to get another audition bag just because this is a lot to carry around on my back all the time and I already have my back hurting a lot. So let's start with the biggest compartment of my backpack. First thing I have in here is a roller stick to roll out my muscles. I use it every time before I go to a dance audition and it's so awesome. Next is my curling iron, which I use at almost every audition. I like to have it curled and look like nice and put together when I walk into the room. And I feel like I look more professional when my hair is curled. I have in here a book, so I'm trying to have a book on me at all times in my audition bag slash backpack because I want to be reading instead of scrolling through Twitter. I have a tennis ball, which is really good for rolling out my muscles, especially my feet. I have an applesauce packet because I like to have some snacks on me. Last two things in this compartment, which are the most important things in my bag, I think, are my audition book and my folder with my headshot and resume. My audition book and has an old headshot of me on it. It's got all of my music that I have to sing. If I don't have this on me, I feel like I'm not prepared. No matter what the audition is, even if I don't get kept after a dance call to sing, I feel like naked without this because I just feel like I need to have this on me at all times. Then here I have got my headshot and resume. I need to print out some more, but it's good to have it on me all the time. Next compartment of my bag also has a lot of very important stuff in here, so let's get into it. I've got my makeup bag that I use for auditions because waking up early is very hard to do. When I'm waking up at like six or seven in the morning to go sign up for an audition that doesn't start for like four more hours, I really don't want to put makeup on right away before I leave my house. So I have this with me so when I'm sitting and waiting in the audition room I can just use this and put on my makeup. So the rest of this section of my bag is my dance shoes, all types of them that I have with me at all times which makes my backpack very heavy. Point shoes, Leducas, girl's best friend here in New York. They are so amazing and also probably like my favorite pair of shoes that I own of any of my pairs of shoes. Character heels, especially used when I go to pop tap. Jazz shoes and ballet shoes. I have with me a water bottle always on the side pocket of my backpack because I need to stay hydrated at all times, especially when I'm dancing and singing a lot. I have a little front section here in my backpack where I have some travel deodorant that I use to freshen up after auditions because I get sweaty. Then I have some mints so I can smell nice as well in my breath. I have some mydol for when those period cramps come knocking and really make me hurt everywhere. I have my inhaler that I don't really use anymore but I still have on me that I had to get last year because the air in Utah is awful. And then I also have some lotion. Next section here I have lots of different cough drops because I like to keep myself healthy and I get worried whenever my throat hurts so I make sure I have cough drops on me at all times. I have another tennis ball and then I have Advil in an old pill container but I get headaches pretty quickly and pretty easily so I always like to have this on me whenever I can. And in my last front section of my bag I have a lot of pens and highlighters and pencils just so I always have a lot of writing utensils on me. And that is it for my audition bag. If there's anything that you think I should add to my audition bag, let me know about those in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts and think about anything else I can do to improve this audition bag, make it the best it can be, and make sure I have everything I need for my auditions. You can watch my latest video over there and subscribe over there as well. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram in the description at TSS6295. Like this video as well if you enjoyed what you saw and also subscribe too right down there too so you can keep up with theater talk Cyclic Sunday and any other videos that I'm putting out as well. Thank you guys so much for watching DFTBA and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.